yeah, I got this rat rod. Well, I can crank it right now. And I got it set up for airbags on the front and airbags on the rear. And most of you already know I got a rat pit bike that I built. I want to build a trailer to go behind it that drops all the way to the ground too. So the whole truck and the trailer will drop all the way to the ground. So I need an air system. I got a York AC compressor on the motor that I'm going to convert to pump air for the air system. See it? Yeah, I got the York style AC compressor that I'm going to use to pump air. And uh, I, I done looked at a lot of videos how to convert that to do that. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's got oil in it. And uh, you can take this plug out. I got me a piece of number nine wire. I take that plug out, run down in there for a dipstick, check the oil in it. So, so you can add oil right through that plug when it needs it. I got me a temporary wire going here so I can hook it to a hot wire just to run the compressor just to, for testing purposes for now. But eventually it's going to be hooked to a toggle switch to on and off and then a pressure switch to cut off automatically when the pressure builds up is the plan. So after taking all the bolts out, including these Torx bolts, this cover here comes off and you got you got a screen here on your suction side. So that's what it looks like. Uh, after you get all the bolts out, the top part comes off pretty easy. Then this was stuck uh, real good. That gasket stuck good over there. Then you got two dial pins. In my case, they come off with this piece. They just come right out of her. So, with a dial pin like that, suction is on top for me. Now, if you need to, they say that all you got to do is leave them dial pins out and you can flip this over if you need the suction to be on the other side for whatever reason. But I don't need to swap it, so I'm going to put it back like it was. So that's what you got in there. You got two pistons. And you got an oil sump down there. In my case, I got a bolt. I got a bolt right up here that I can take out. Then uh, take a piece of wire or something, anything, stick down in there, and it goes all the way to the bottom. You see how much oil is in it. So you can add oil or check it right there. I guess it goes right down between them two rods, piston rods. And that little hole right there, that's really I had to take this off, the back part off, is to, I gotta plug that hole on the suction side. Uh, that's what they say, so it won't suck so much oil in when it's sucking, so. <laughs> I'm gonna plug it anyway and put this back on and tap that hole so I can uh, put a 3.8 fitting in it. So I got the head clamped to my vise lightly and uh, I got a 5-8 drill bit. I'm going to drill it out so I can tap it to 3 8 Obviously, I'm going to put some Teflon tape on it, but uh, yeah, it goes in there good. We'll be fine. But uh, if you do this, if you got a size drill bit, just a hair smaller than 5 eighths, that'd be the one to use. 
But uh, I, this five eighths is the best one I had to do this with, so that's what I went with. So I found me a screw to fit in that hole, snug. And I took my little brush and some uh, Permatex number two gasket maker and painted on the threads and screwed up in there. And I left the pieces of gasket on the head and on here. Then I took that uh, same brush and that Permatex and I painted me a uh, thin coat of Permatex number two. I'll run over that gasket goes. Because I'm cheap, they say you can buy a gasket kits for these, but uh, to me that Permatex always works for me, so that's what I'm going with. I ain't saying that's what you should do, but I'm just saying that's what I'm doing. And uh, we're gonna find out if it works, which I'm sure it will. As far as that screw, they say it goes back to the main bearing on the crankshaft and if you don't plug it it suck oil from the crankcase uh i don't know but i just because all the videos i've seen they say plug it so i plug mine so i got my tank plumbed up uh, i got sitting on my junk cart because uh, I already had a short piece of 3.8 airline cut for testing purposes. I didn't want to cut a new piece just to test, so I stuck it over there. Uh, got my check valve. Got my pressure switch, my gauge. Uh, valve to dump the air out. I got wire here going inside the truck to a positive 12 volt. I got this one going to the compressor. So, and this little screw right there, you can adjust the pressure for the switch. So I got it down to uh, about 100 pounds to pump up and it go down about 85, about 90, 85, 80, 85, and kick back on. So I'm gonna crank it up and just let it idle and show you how fast it builds up pressure idling.
and that's a seven gallon tank. So it pumps fast. I'm really happy with it. A lot faster, whole lot faster than the electric compressor I had on my first rat rod. I mean, it was slow, slow, slow. I mean, this thing here pumps some air. And I gotta be able to filter dryer between the compressor and the tank to filter out any oil and water before it gets into the tank. So, I've gotta do that. Okay guys, that's the way you convert your yard type compressor to pump air. All you gotta do is plug that little hole in, on the suction side and uh, figure out a way to hook your line to the pressure side. In my case, I drilled and tapped it to three eighths. All right, we're getting it, we just ain't got it yet. Appreciate you, see you next time.